Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chloe Brown and today I am just going to talk to you guys. So I'm gonna give you like a little update of where I'm at with my skin. Um, and I'm only doing this because I've really been humbled by this whole process. I thought that it was gonna be resolved a lot quicker. I thought that I was gonna be in control of the healing process. Um, I thought that like I had it handled. Now I know like with acne, it takes time. And if you guys watched um, my video, I don't know exactly how long ago I posted it, maybe like two months ago of like when it first, when I first addressed it, when I first started talking about it, um, it was really, really bad. I haven't had a new breakout in about a week now, which is great, but the scarring is just Ugh. So I still go bare face most days. I went out this morning and um, met with somebody and obviously I'm still super insecure so I wanted to cover up the scars to, to just make myself feel a little better. I know throughout this whole process I was like, I want to get to a place where like I don't have to wear makeup at all because I accept who I am and blah blah blah. Like, I just want to be completely honest with you and tell you like this process has made me realize how much I obsess over my acne that's no fun for me but i know that it happens a lot i've gotten a lot of dms from people i've watched a lot of people on youtube who struggle with their acne and it's like you constantly obsess over trying to fix it or cover it or if you get a new breakout or the itchiness of the dryness and whatever like you're just constantly thinking about it and you're obsessing about it and i realized i was doing that like i was watching so many people on youtube who cured their acne naturally or went and actually did accutane or epiduo or just different different things out there like birth control to just regulate hormones and stuff and as i've said before like i've gotten a ton of suggestions from you guys however i'm not really taking suggestions because um I'm trying to find just the best thing for me and I appreciate your guys' hearts and like I said um, in a video before like I just want to feel normal even though like I know I'm putting my my story and myself out there on YouTube and Instagram I do love this platform but I think there needs to be like boundaries with me because if I were to just like completely open up Instagram and just read all of the suggestions and do all of the suggestions it would be hundreds and hundreds of suggestions of different products or things that people sell or whatever and it, i just didn't want to think about it so like i just didn't read anything and that's no offense to anybody but i just wasn't in the headspace where like i could handle that and i i realized i wanted to stop thinking about it and so that's why i stopped talking about it is because I didn't want it to rule my life and unfortunately I allowed it to and um, that was not a fun thing to realize because the thing that I was trying to fix was like taking control of my thoughts and the way that I perceived myself and viewed myself and just took up a lot of time that I didn't intend for it to and I like needed to apologize to myself and my family for just like letting it take that much of a stronghold on me. But I know that that happens to a lot of women because I've heard women talk about it and I've seen videos made where like people are talking about like trying to fix their acne, but like while they have acne, it's just like this constant obsession. Like you can't hide it. Like I think that's the hardest thing is when you have it, you can't hide it. And I'm guilty of this too. It's like when you see people with it, you notice it, you don't like really talk about it, but you see it and you're like, oh, she's breaking out or he's breaking out or you know, whatever. Or like we always, one pimple comes up and we're like, for this freaking breakout, like ugh, period, whatever. But still like we seem to have to point the things out to make ourselves feel better about it because we're the ones beating ourselves up. And I think I realized through this whole process, I know I'm rambling, is that Sometimes we can preach things to ourselves and to other people. The journey is a journey. And some of the things that I've said on here, like accept love for yourself, believe in love, like you are worthy of believing that you are beautiful. 
Do I still believe those things in myself? Yes. But do I still have insecurities? Absolutely. And somebody asked the question when we were doing the Q&A with me and my husband, um, like, it, is it hard for you to see your wife struggle with self-image issues? And I think his answer was absolutely beautiful and true for a lot of people. I think that we are our own worst critics and we are mean to ourselves and we need to stop being mean to ourselves. <laughs> but I think just accept seasons as seasons and maybe that I was having acne to just like stop putting pressure on myself to like always upload for you guys and always story and this and that. And maybe like I just needed to take a little time to just like sit in, in it and just analyze it thoroughly rather than like, I have acne, I'm gonna cover it up, I'm gonna fix it and here we go, I'm gonna do another video or ooh, here's my acne update video. Like. I, I couldn't fake it and um, I don't ever want to fake anything like that and I think that's why I just like I had a plan in my head like I'm gonna do this acne series you know like it's my life that's what's going on right now and like started doing it and I did like two whole weeks of it and I had to stop because I found myself like obsessing over it and like I had to talk about it every single day and I didn't have to I chose to and I just didn't want to and so anyways an update of my face is I'm being more comfortable with it, but I'm still very insecure about it. I know that I'm getting closer to the other side of it. And I do want to be completely honest and I'm stubborn <laughs> and I wanted to fix it myself. Um, so I started going to natural products. A lot of you guys have been asking me what I've been using. And I think the best my skin ever was, was when I used simple products on my face so I kind of just went back to the basics, but I added in something else that's completely different. So I used to use the Dr. Bronner's Castile soap and tea tree on my face all the time. Now tea tree oil is supposed to like help kill bad bacteria on your face, but keep good bacteria. So that's why I got the tea tree. So I wash my face two times a day, once in the morning, once at night. And then instead of moisturizers and stuff, I've just been using the Trader Joe's jojoba oil. So I did a lot of research online and jojoba oil is very gentle on your skin and it helps remove makeup it cleans cl cleans clogged pores softens skin and moisturizes and the thing that jojoba oil does that i've learned is that it mimics your skin's own sebum which is like the natural oils that your skin produces but it doesn't tell your skin not to produce those things so it's just kind of like an added moisturizer um, I've also been using some apple cider vinegar as like a toner on my face to just really balance out the pH of my face. Um, and so I've been doing that for like a whole two, two and a half, three weeks. Definitely noticed a huge difference. But I felt like I needed an extra little help and I am not ashamed that I went to the doctors. Um, but I got Epiduo. So Epiduo is an antibiotic and it has benzoyl peroxide in it and it has a retinoid in it um, and so I've been using Epiduo for a week and a half now and I've definitely seen a huge difference in my skin I'm gonna use it for like about two weeks to see how I like it um, but I don't plan on using it long term I just wanted to kind of kick kick this stuff into gear and cure it quickly um, and for me that's really humbling to say that like I kind of trusted in a doctor to like prescribe me stuff for my acne because I think my whole journey was like, I'm just gonna use stuff that's like completely natural and I don't wanna put chemicals on my face and blah, blah, blah. Like that's truly what I stand for. Like I really would like to use natural stuff, but for my mental like state, I just really needed somebody else's help and um, something other than myself trying to help me out. I think it was very humbling for me to to accept that and um, I don't know it's, it's so stupid because I know a lot of people use like acne medication but like I was so against it so um, and like I said it's just a season like I'll figure out something and I, I hope that it's natural in the future but um, I also started taking some so I started taking Gymnia which is like a supplement 
to try to balance out the blood sugars in my body to see if some of the things were um, triggered by hormones. Now I have a history of like low, low estrogen, so it wouldn't surprise me if my testosterone or progesterone or whatever is, is unbalanced. And so, which I have not been good about taking vitamins in the past. So I, um, I, I mean, it can't hurt, they're good things. And then I started taking some uh, milk thistle. I know that you could take it in drops or whatever. I just bought it in pill form, but that helps with like cleansing out your liver, which in turn helps your hormones. I just know that like, because of my hormone imbalances, it was good to just add that in there. And then I took a probiotic. So I take probiotics a lot, but those are the three supplements that I'm taking just to make sure that like, I'm not only combating what's on the outside, but on the inside too. Um, trying to eat really clean and stuff. I don't eat dairy or anything like that, so. <sighs> but I could probably stop eating gluten. Um, and that's what I've just been a little more mindful about. But um, anyways, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about updates about my face. So I'm gonna go wash my face right now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what my face looks like now. So there's a ton of scarring. I had a lot of hormonal acne all in this area. Um, and then just kind of a few, and I'm a picker. So no matter how many times I told myself before, while, and after picking to stop picking, it's just something like it's like a, like a drug, you know what I mean? Like, ugh. Um, so then I broke out like a lot right here. So everything is like really, in the hormonal spot. I only broke up, broke out a couple of times up here and like on my nose, but this side used to be the worst and now it's getting a lot better. So, um, like I said, these are all just scars and so they will just take a couple months to heal. Um, and I'm fine with that. Like there's not much texture on my face anymore. Um, my face isn't dry, um, but most days I do walk around with just like the jojoba oil on. So it looks kind of like <laughs> oily, but whatever, I'm totally fine with it. Um, but I just didn't want to like hide behind perfect pictures and perfect videos because to be honest, like I have been wearing foundation, um, just for my videos and pictures, which is absolutely freaking ridiculous. And I can't believe that I do that, but that's just how stupid social media is. Um, but I just want to show the realness behind it too. Like it is what it is. And I should probably make more videos with just me chilling and hanging out with you guys without face makeup on, but I'm only human and I ain't perfect. But it's been fun to just like, I do my eye makeup again, which is nice. Um, Cause that's like what I wanted. But it's funny because now when I put on makeup, like I don't really want to put like bronzer and blush and highlighter on like I used to love highlighter and now like when I put it on now that I haven't had it on for like a couple months um, I'll put it on and I'm like oh I don't really like this <laughs> like this morning I did my whole face and I was like oh I hate this highlighter so like I took it all off and I didn't wear it and um, I think that's just a part of changing and accepting myself um, just a little more simple and I'm okay with that so you can tell I'm super insecure because I'm barely looking at the lens of the camera. I keep on like looking down or up or <laughs> whatever, but um, I just wanted to hang out and talk to you guys and just show you like where I'm at and just remind you that there's a process to everything. And I think, you know, like when, when people say like, when one door shuts, another one opens or like, you know, God opened a door or whatever. Like people always talk about doors opening and shutting, but they don't talk about the hallways in between those doors. And that's kind of where I felt like I've been, not only like with my acne or whatever, but like in a lot of areas of my life, I've just kind of been sitting in the hallway and I've been really struggling with what's next or does this need to close or does this need to open? Like really kind of conflicted with a lot of things in my life um, internally and I just want to remind you guys that like the hallway is a good place the hallway is where you find your answers because if you weren't in the hallway then you wouldn't need a door to be open or shut so like everything happens in the hallway 
but we don't ever talk about the hallway. <laughs> I don't know. That's just kind of where I'm at. Anyways, thanks for hanging out. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>